All right, we're back at the crib. Last week, I uh, we were doing martini talks, and um, God, I, I just, if you know me, you know, you know that I love martinis, and that's my jam. But the other thing I like is wine. So today we're gonna do some wine talks. So comment below, tell me what your favorite wine is, red, white, rosé, if it's a cab, Pinot Noir, whatever it be. Um, so today I've chosen to go with the uh, Austin Hope Vineyards from the Hope Family Wines, Cabernet 2018. This is a great bottle. Let it breathe a little bit um, and it's it's fantastic. It's got a marvelous taste and the, uh, the price is actually pretty, pretty fair. So um, at a case, I think you can get them for like 55 bucks a bottle. So for a $55 cab, it really can't be beat. Now, if you don't want to spend that much money on it, go ahead and check out the Hope Winery's um, uh, Liberty School. Um, that is their lower one, and I think that one's like 17 bucks a bottle, which is also a killer cab as well. So anyways, take a sip, and we'll get going from there. Mmm. It's a damn good cab. All right. Other ones that I like. Ecluse, Paso Robles. Wonderful vineyard here. This is their reserve 2010 cab. Waiting for a special time to open this bottle. Uh, if you're not gonna go for the 2010, um, they're about like 70, 75 bucks a bottle. This one was about 110. And then my favorite of all time, I love Cab Francs. Cab Francs is where it's at. Um, Trespass Vineyards, this is Donnie. When you call in, literally, literally call in. Donnie picks up the phone himself and he takes the order. And it's funny, he remembers you. He remembers your 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 street address. It's so it's so cool. So support Donnie. He's a smaller vintner. Um, he doesn't make a whole ton of these. So get these while you can. This one, I think he's um, 125 bucks a bottle. But if you're gonna celebrate, this is the one to celebrate with. He has no minimum orders. You can order as little as much as you want. So wine talks. Um, wanted to go over a few things today because we were talking about real estate last time and um, and what upgrades make the most amount of money. Now this time, I wanna talk about how to spot a property. I've taught all my clients how to spot a property uh, that's got good value in it. Odd, odd properties do well. Finding an odd property, you can make a ton of money on. My rule on this is, an, is called the 80-10-10. 80% of the house you're gonna like, 10% you can change, 10% you can live with. So if you do the 80-10-10, and you find a house like that, it's probably the one for you. And let me give you a fine example of this, of finding odd homes that have a hard time selling and, uh, and making it to a gold mine. So for instance, I'm gonna give you an example of one of my really good friends. Um, they bought in Westlake a couple years ago and the property that um, they bought, we were doing the walkthrough. There were so many good things to the property. Location, uh, view of the lake in Westlake, view of the mountains, um, good sized property, 2,600 square feet, four bedrooms, downstairs master, so uh, it could cater to an older couple. But there's a lot of great things about this property. The one thing that was really, really tough about this property was the kitchen. It had kind of a small kitchen for a 2,600 square foot house, and it uh, it was kind of boxed in. Very, car uh, very, very boxed off from room to room. So you had a dining room box, um, kitchen box, and then you had another uh, eating kitchen. So, uh, and, and the, the, the ceilings for the kitchen were about eight feet tall, uh, which is standard size for the time. But, uh, but they, they killed it on this one because that kitchen, that dining room, and that eat-in area, and the living room all had a view, right? You got a view of the mountains or the lake. Um, so they were able to expand this kitchen and open it up, take the walls down. Now they have a walk-in pantry. Now this tiny little kitchen was opened up and now they took advantage of the slope of the roof. So they realized that the roof sloped a certain way. So they took advantage of the full vaults of the ceiling. So now they have this beautiful kitchen with gorgeous white shaker cabinets, beautiful um, quartz countertops, high-end appliances, Miele, Viking, the whole thing. So it's, it's, it's an amazing thing. And they opened up the floor plan too. So it opened up to the second family room, which we don't see a lot about today because that's a, that's a bit of a past thing. So um, at this point, they've done so well on this property. They have a giant kitchen now with a view, vaulted ceilings. So if you're able to spot an issue on a property and figure out a way to fix it, 
that's when you're going to make the most amount of money on it. So be able to be open, spot things and go from there. Um, so I, I would, I would suggest that that to everybody that's buying real estate, because that's really the way you're going to make money. If you're, if you're, if you're too close minded on it, you're not going to find the right house. You're not going to find the right deal. And, uh, you're going to be kind of stuck in a, in an issue where, um, where you're in a, a circular problem of saying this house isn't too good. This house isn't, you know, isn't for me. It, it doesn't fit my style, whatever it be. So be open-minded because you really will make a ton of money being open-minded, um, on real estate. And, um, yeah, if you have any questions, go from there. Hit me up in the bottom here. Um, give me your favorite wine list. Um, tell me a story about yourself, about a property that you bought that had an oddity that you had to overcome and get rid of, and now it's worth a fortune. So fine example, my friends in this neighborhood, they bought the house for about a million won, and um, they fixed the floor plan problem with the kitchen, and everything in the neighborhood's selling about um, million six to million seven. So talking about crushing it and making $500,000 like that. All right, guys, take care. Talk to you soon.